Hey everybody. All right, this video is going to be on painting a high wall. This is a 17 foot high wall and it's in a staircase, so you really can't get up on a ladder unless you want to kill yourself. So you have two options. You can either get up on a ladder and maybe kill yourself. You might want to get some scaffolding, which would cost you a fortune and would be really dangerous in a stairwell. You might want to buy one of those uh, ladders where you can put different lengths of legs on uh, or extend the legs so that you could prop yourself up on the different steps and that's kind of risky and dangerous too. Okay, so that's more than two options. You can use a paint pad. Let's see, where's the camera? There's a paint pad. You can put this in a stick, in a uh, pole, paint pole. I'm going to show you in a minute. And then you could glide this against the wall and that would get you up there. That would get you your four inches from the edge of the wall, from the edge of the ceiling, so that you could uh, go in there with a roller and a stick and paint. Or you have the other option to use this thing from Wooster. Other companies make this, but use this product from Wooster. It's called the Lockjaw, and it allows you, as you can see in the picture over there, to position a paintbrush inside at uh, multiple angles, get the position you want, and then you could put this on a paint pole and paint. And again, the main goal is just to get way up at the top over there. It's a little out of focus. And get your three or four inches so that you can go in there with a roller and a, a stick and start painting. If you're going to go in there with a roller, there's no way that you're going to get all the way up to the, uh, the top without getting paint on the ceiling. So that's why you need to do one of these two procedures. Now with an idea like this, you could go with a large brush or a narrow brush. Large brush is going to cover much more area. The narrow brush obviously isn't. The advantage of the narrow brush is it's going to hold less paint, which is a disadvantage. It's going to hold less paint, but it's also going to drop less paint, and it's probably going to be a little bit easier to maneuver. You probably want to use an angled brush like these, you see the angle on them? You want to use an angle brush so you can get in there, angle the ceiling the proper way. You might do this also, but you want to go in like this so you can angle. So maybe you want to use the wider brush. It's up to you. And let me show you how this uh, bracket works now. So what you're really doing is you're putting the brush into this opening here. Trying to get a good angle so you can see it. You put the brush in, position it the way you want it, whichever way is going to be good for you. Maybe it's going to be this way. If you're going to be going with the pole down here, maybe you're going to want to do this way so you can paint upward so you can get into the ceiling edge and go downward. And then you have the option, let me get the brush out. You have the option when you press this button over here, you press in on the button and then you can position whatever angle you want. So let me show you how it's done now. This is the paint pad. They are good. The only problem is it's going to splatter an incredible amount of paint all over the place. You're only going right up to the edge. It's got wheels on it so it should be able to, it should roll. Good luck getting that to happen. You can see how I'm trying to get it to roll across the ceiling right now, and it doesn't want to, which is not unusual. These don't have the best wheels. So you're going to, you can still get a really nice edge, but it's not going to roll with the wheels. You can get up there, get your edge, and go downward. It should go really quick. It should make the job very easy. So that's one of your options. And then here's the other option. Here's the paintbrush on the bracket. It is a little weird. It's a little awkward, but it is not that uncomfortable. As long as you're able to position yourself, I'm on an angle, so it's a little awkward for me while I film this. But you're really just using two hands and going in there and painting. Whoop! It uh, kind of came loose there because it wasn't really tight, obviously. So. I like this idea too. I like this a lot better than the pad because it's going to have less paint on it, but you can get a nice paint line. You can get right up and then you can position this thing so that you are going 
Of course, I would turn the, uh, the unit, but you can position, position it so you're going right up to the edge and going downward. And I think you get a really nice uh, section of paint on there. So that's how you paint a tall ceiling. And then after that, then you're going to go in with your roller. Obviously, you're going to go in with your roller uh, somewhere from here and roll downward. So hopefully that helped you with how to paint a tall ceiling. Um, if you want to do a thumbs up, a like, a subscribe, that would help me out. If you want to go to my channel page and click on support and donate something, that would help me too. And if you don't, that's fine also. Hopefully this helps somebody, and happy painting. This is the final result using that paintbrush holder. It is extremely difficult to use. It was very hard to use. This is a primer. The primer did not want to stick to the wall. I couldn't get enough pressure using the pole, but uh, <clears throat> I was able to get it done. 